The Rob Way. This week we're going to take a look at my new portrait of Paul Bearer, uh, the late Percy Pringle, um, one of the all-time great managers in the history of wrestling. Uh, a lot of times with my pieces, I'll have a general idea of where I'm going with it and then just kind of let it unfold before me as I work. Uh, this was one of those where the idea was so simple and striking uh, that it turned out exactly how I envisioned it, which is rare. Uh, but uh, you'll see uh, what I had in mind. It was a very minimalist approach, but also playing with uh, the whole wet on wet technique that I used. Uh, laying a little bit of uh, liquid acrylic down first, a little bit of tan, a little bit of red, just for some effect, and then coming in with ink. Uh, you'll see I lay down water for a whole area, and then just drop the ink right in there and let it do its thing. Uh, the Paul Bearer character was such a fun one, you know, like he was he was spooky in a Adam's Family kind of way, but. Uh, you know, never like totally terrifying, you know, left that to Undertaker or Kane or Mankind. Uh, and, you know, it was a big loss uh, to the wrestling world and the world as a whole when he passed away last year. Uh, never heard anyone speak ill of the man, which is rare for uh, uh, anyone, but especially in the wrestling business. Uh, several uh, friends that I've made uh, just you know thought the world of them like Adam Pierce, David Marquez, Jim Ross, and, and Jerry Briscoe. Uh, all these guys uh, just thought the world of, of the late Bill Booty. Um, so you can see uh, continuing with the ink part here, uh, the idea that I had in mind because he would do the white makeup on his face, uh, I would. Um, just show his features, uh, like the, the hair, the suit, and uh, you know, the eyes, and, and mustache and mouth, to really you know pop and, and give it kind of a feeling of, uh, if you're around my age, you'll probably remember the books, uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, uh, the really creepy illustrations that were in there with those. Uh, uh, I forget the artist's name offhand, but a uh, really big uh, inspiration for this piece. Uh, this was also a very straightforward one, you know, like um, because it was such a, a simple one in, in terms of execution, it took, it, you know, it went really fast. You know, some of them can take me a whole day or, you know, even a few days depending on. Uh, how, how complex the piece is. This one uh, got done within about an hour, I think, uh, which is cool. Uh, but you know, that's just an hour of working time. You know, there's there's all the planning and, and of course uh, years and years of practice to get me to this point. Uh, but overall, I feel like it's a good uh, tribute to the man and to his character. Uh, putting the finishing touches on, and there's the final piece. Not bad. guys just let you know I'm doing my one last one day sale uh, with that there's gonna be hundreds of prints up at robshamburger.com slash store uh, they're gonna be the uh, eight and a half by eleven or eleven by eight and a half depending on how you have it turned uh, and this is only up for today also a lot of my normal prints that are up are going to be going down after today too to be replaced by something pretty cool stay tuned on that thanks